Okay, so I just want to annotate my process of doing some very basic uh, facial capture. It's mostly for me as per usual, so it may not work with your setup. But uh, yeah, here goes. So the first thing is uh, I'm using voice meter so I can loop uh, audio um, kind of around and back into um, iClone. And you'll see why. So essentially, I've been given these video clips of um, um, actress or anybody who's doing your vocals, um, just doing a selfie to, to camera. And the important thing is to ask them, if possible, to look to the camera. It can be quite difficult. Um, this is on a decent phone, so the audio is good. I'm just going to use that audio. Um, so being able to essentially take it off all I ask is for you to stop talking now and you're under your breath you're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it it's rude I clone when I move over to the B channel I'm sure I'm sure um, now I've got it maxed up to 12 dB because it's internal it's actually the noise floor is not going too crazy it's okay um, but it's because her recording is originally quite quiet so I'm going to have to move over to my literally a phone camera I do this quickly so, so what I'm doing is I'm playing that onto a monitor and I've got an iPhone here with um, a live face running and it kind of it's not as good as a real face obviously you don't get the depth sensing but it's good enough to be able to capture what I need I'm going to move this out of the way I just play it through and I go into so I've got my life face open and if I go into preview and since you press play on the video look Peter I'm not having this all I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath you're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it it's rude now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? So it's, it's not perfect, but what I'm trying to capture mostly is kind of around the eyes and the cheeks. The mouth, I always find I have to redo. Uh, you can obviously play around with your the strength, um, but I find if I make the math any more than that, it kind of stretches in odd ways, which I guess is down to the actual model. If you've got a model that can take a bigger mouth, but for me, um, that's kind of what I've got. I would recommend saving your settings per well, both actor and model so that you can kind of get back to it. Um, right, so I've set a start point and an end point further down the line. Okay, and I'm going to turn off my mic. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? Okay, so I'm back. I can get rid of this and bring back the channels and check what we've got. So. Kind of the beginnings, no point having a try to find a good point where because it's gonna in Unity it's going to be um, 
transitioning into each of these, so I try to find a fairly neutral point. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? Okay. Stop. Works for me. So, end. Right, so the other part is I've got I've made a transcript of the of each of the uh, video clips so it's a text file and then I go Aculips so it's telling me it's going to overwrite the current but essentially what the um, live face worked out but that's okay I'm just going to go back open and this is 3C open that and align so you can get quite you know, into the details Look, Pete, I'm, I'm not having this. this. All I ask All is for you to stop talking, stop talking loudly, loudly, loudly under, your under your breath. So, for example... So you can see the loudly is actually starting here. So you can really get into just making sure that... Loudly, under your breath. Um, obviously the waveform shapes help I don't like it. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around. I don't like it. It's rude. It's rude. That seems like actually it. Okay, actually. It. So 
then you click apply so you, we've already aligned it the line was setting everything automatically and then we've done a bit of manual movement and now we click apply uh, so everything should be in place look peter i'm not having this all i ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath you're behaving like this a lot when i'm around and i don't like it it's rude now you're swearing this isn't on i'm sure you're not taking your medication are you so you can tweak it some more obviously here you can still resize uh, each of the sections uh, but actually one of the things i find really helps is just to go to lip options with this and actually just dial down that strength and sometimes it's just way over the top and also just a little bit of smoothing this one's just going to do very little smoothing actually because it's pretty good and then just apply and close let's have a look at that look peter i'm not having this all i ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath you're behaving like this a lot when i'm around and i don't like it it's rude now you're swearing this isn't on i'm sure you're not taking your medication are you no it's better so the final bit that i tend to do I'm just going to save so I can get back to it in case it goes wrong and I would recommend doing that um, is just smoothing the expressions but it might be a case of just, but the problem I, I guess is just if if you smooth it too much it seems to lose its um, um, like the accents in the expression, I don't want to lose that, so I want to be very subtle in, in that. And also I guess you can kind of smooth and then add a bit more expression strength is one way to do it. So I'm just going to have a quick try at that. Look Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? So I think it's a bit too much for me now. Well, actually, if I play it again. Look, Pete, I'm not having this. And there's the tall well, accent, and I just I want to smooth a little bit of that out, but not too much. But it's. It's worth. Enough. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? I'm just going to have a... one more comparison. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? She said, I'm going to, I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to smooth that at the oh, very gosh. end. And the way to, to do that, if you need to just literally smooth out a little bit, is you can break it and just select that clip and smooth it. So you could do, you know, for example, if this section was too much expression, but the rest of it is fine, you can um, just go through each of those, and cut them out. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing, this isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly. So I am going to do that, actually. That's pretty much... I'm going to go... Sorry, break... to... It's because the eyebrows just go up and down just a little bit too much. Look, Peter, I'm not having this. Yes, yes, yes.
Look, Peter, I'm not having this. All I ask is for you to stop talking loudly under your breath. You're behaving like this a lot when I'm around and I don't like it. It's rude. Now you're swearing. This isn't on. I'm sure you're not taking your medication, are you? OK, um, so I'm ready to export. Uh, I would really recommend just keeping like a little spreadsheet so you can record your start and end frames um, because you might need to go back to it um, double check I've got what I need yeah that's fine um, and there isn't in iCloud currently a kind of a, a way to remember these markers as far as I know it might be but hey uh, so I want to go far export the FBX these are my settings they actually don't matter too much here because I'm not going to use this model I've got my model already exported from character creator but um, you still want obviously unity 3d and uh, 60 frames and there's my range I'm going to take a note of this Um, so all I've got is file name so sometimes the video file from the person who's done it for me has more than one of these clips that I'm going to be using so it's worth having the file name and the clip separate but yeah then your end, start and end frames for each one so yeah I'm good I'm going to export that this is uh, This file. Let um, my clone do its export. Uh, in Unity, what I do is I have a mask, and I really only use the top, like neck up and the blend shapes on top of an existing animation like an idle or a sitting animation um, so the other important bit is to render out the audio so just the WAV file same range and export that use the same uh, name and what's imp the reason it's important to do that at the same time as you want essentially the range to be exactly the same so where when you trigger it in unity you want to trigger both the facial mocap and the audio file and they need to be the same the end doesn't matter quite so much but the, the start needs to be the exact same start and then that's it then i'll move on to the next clip by you know creating a new start creating a new end and I repeat the process, go back to Motion Live. You need to relink it, but I'm still connected to the iPhone and, and then kind of ready for the next clip. This needs to change. Something needs to happen with the medication because it's not working or you're not taking it. What is it? We have to talk to your CPN. Something needs to change. Sorry, Peter. Um, I don't. I don't know what you're referring to. I just wanted to. Um, I just wanted to check that you were okay. That's all. I'm really sorry, but you know, as far as I'm aware, I haven't said anything, or I don't remember having said anything to you. But I can see that's not, you know, I can see that's not what you're thinking right now. And it's obviously upsetting you or annoying you. And I don't want that. 